Uniendo America Project Fair sees Rotarians from Central American countries, USA, and Canada come together to partner on projects. This year, Rotarians hold the 25th annual fair in Belize, and representatives from various Rotary districts gathered at the Biltmore Plaza Hotel to showcase their work and seek out new partnerships and funding. Marcelo Blake is the co-chair of the fair. We get a good idea. We get partners who support the same idea that we're um, pushing, whatever that project is, whether it's in water and sanitation, education, disease prevention. There are six areas of focus for, for Rotary. Once funds are secured, projects are implemented and, in most cases, international partners join local clubs in executing them. Mel Honig, a Rotarian from District 6600 in Northwest Ohio, USA, has been helping to enhance early childhood education for hundreds of children in rural schools here. We send them the tools that they need to mature physically, socially, and also mentally. And these tools are sporting equipment, puzzles, games and toys, computers, and most importantly, books to read. And what we're trying to do is give them a well-rounded education and starting them out so they will be stronger when they reach levels one, two, three, and four, and hopefully go on to high school and from there maybe to university. And primarily we deal with the outlaying communities. These are the communities where resources many times don't find their way. So we set up a resource center in the preschools and it is the preschool teacher and the principal who's most important in this equation for using these resources in the best way possible. Fellow Rotarian Robert DiNardo, also of District 6600, has led an effort that sees used and usable medical supplies and equipment shipped to several countries, Belize included. We ship containers, we find a need in a Rotary Club in, a, in a, another country, and we try to match up uh, what we have with what they need, and we, we get our uh, get our shipments together, ship 40-foot shipping containers of all sorts of equipment. Uh, we use clothes as packing material, and, and what that does is it not only keeps things uh, from moving around in our container, but they're usable clothes, too. So everybody gets all kinds of different things, different items. It's great. And how long has this... Um have you been able to, how, how long have you been assisting different parts of um, Belize then, well, the different medical institutions in Belize? How many years and um, if you can say, yeah. how much assistance? We've, we've been uh, shipping things not just to Belize but all over Central America for almost 40 years now. And we've shipped things even, uh, we've even shipped uh, ambulances and fire trucks and things, I mean, not just small stuff. A lot of it's hospital beds, surger, surgical equipment. We've outfitted uh, eye clinics, dental clinics, all kinds of different things. And it's been for quite some time. In Guatemala, the Rotary E-Club of Lake Atitlan Panahachel focuses on water and sanitation challenges around Lake Atitlan. Dr. William Bogel says they hope to gain more support in this year's fair. It has huge sanitation problems, clean water, trash, uh, uh, waste treatment are big problems. So our small club has done five global grants on water and sanitation and closed them. And we're here in Belize to meet North Americans who want to continue to help us improve the whole lake basin that's uh, very badly contaminated. There's an ecological crisis. So that's our most urgent issue. We do health care and education and literacy and maternal and child care. We do all the areas of Rotary, but our biggest effort is on the immediate water and sanitation crisis problem of Lake Atitlan in Guatemala. To support the foundation, the E-Club also sells Guatemalan coffee by the pound, which is shipped to the U.S. and Canada. The projects, with enough support, grow annually, reaching more and more people. And just the same, new partnerships are forged. One of these is the recently formed teamwork between Rotarians and the Belize Police Department. Rotary had funded and supported us big time last year um, in executing our first time the youth mentorship program which is a six-month program that we work with a hundred kids 
from the south side. Um, these are kids of high risk and, of course, troubled youth. And 50 males, 50 females that we worked for six months on the weekends. Um, we had trained mentors and persons from the community working with these young persons. So Rotary came big time in supporting us and funding us this program. And we are looking again for redoing this program, but we want to run it for three more years. And so today we're being part of the project fair in sharing the information and also seeking funding in support to this program. How has the involvement of the Rotary Club impacted the work that the department has been doing? Big time. It has impacted big time and I must say a big thank you to Rotary. The whole work of Rotary is that service to community, service to our country. And so the police department through our community policing unit works perfect in that giving service to our community and of course to our people. Eight of ten Rotary Clubs in Belize are taking part in this year's fair. The effort that goes into the various projects has benefited hundreds of Belizeans across the country. Blake describes the collaboration as nothing short of great. It helps to uh, execute those projects on the ground in your country, um, helping the communities which we live in. And that's really what Rotary is all about. We see that people need some things, and so it's, I think it's almost our duty to help out. We're excited about what we do, and we really enjoy what we do. And the smiles on their faces is just wonderful, and it makes us very happy. Dalilay Kal, Love News.